What's up, trendsetter kings and queens? Stick around, let's chill and spill some trending tea. Trending today is N-O-R-E, a.k.a. Noriega. Now, he has his own podcast on Revolt TV called Drink Champs. Well, back on October 21st, 2022, Noriega had Quavo and Takeoff on Drink Champs just to clear the air because there was some obvious tension with the Migos at that time. Offset was releasing his solo album, and there were some legal issues brewing between Offset and the label but Quavo and Takeoff had just dropped only built in Infinity Links on October 7th 2022 so you know Quavo and Takeoff wanted to promote the album and people wanted to know to see if you know Quavo and Takeoff would talk about Offset or possibly a reunion of the Migos. Well Noriega has a couple writers slash producers on his team that write for particular segments on his show and one of the questions for this particular segment they asked Quavo and Takeoff and guess what it was it was would you pick Nicki Minaj or Cardi B check this out Get up. yeah Atlantic or Motown mm. Motown Motizzi. man Motown 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 uh, the, the evil Dominican and the evil Colombian over there. I think they get high while they're doing it. Yeah. Out there. <laughs> I believe. Nikki or Cardi B? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Not me, y'all. <laughs> This is mad. I'm, I'm taking a shot. I'm going to I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say Nikki. Yeah, see, I was going to say the same thing, though. That's crazy. So you said Nikki? Yeah. So being that y'all agree, that's a shot. They got to take a shot. <laughs> you got to take a shot. I just made a new move. I'm sorry. You got to take a shot. I should have known how to game. You got to make that rule shit. Take on Kobe immediately. He said, wait a minute. That wasn't in the rules. Now, ever since Noriega asked the question and him and his team saw the crazy responses they were receiving from fans, everyone seemed to be loving the drama. And Noriega literally started asking everyone the same question every time they come on Drink Champs. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Well, fast forward to the other day, Noriega was on Joe Budden's podcast and nothing was off limits. Noriega was giving Joe Budden his flowers for real for being successful and talking about literally just how far both of them have come. But it was when Noriega started talking to Joe about how he had hurt PDP, Phil to Profit, on his platform because of something that he had said that had really bothered him. Noriega said, I had to learn I have to be conscious of what I say because when I talk I talk for a living and sometimes the things that a person talks about can hurt people and you may not even know at the time until someone says something to you and you know he admitted that he was extremely sorry for what he did to PDP and then that's what led to the topic of Cardi B he said Cardi kind of revealed things he was doing on his show Here's what some people had to say. They said, we are going to start adding people here. Ayo, hey, at Noriega, can you please confirm if you have an issue with Nicki Minaj? Why is it that you never apologize to her as well? I'm from New York, so you know we're going to keep it funky. Hope to hear a response. Another person wrote, I think it's weak for Cardi B to call Noriega about a game he plays on his show. If it was favorable towards her, she wouldn't have an issue. But I believe because most people choose Nicki Minaj, she has an issue. Girl, stop crabbing. Y'all can't be this sensitive in hip hop. Another person wrote, and the crazy part is he admits two black women asked him to stop because it was hurtful to them, but he only stopped after Cardi asked. We will never be free. Fam, I'm shocked that Noriega even apologized to Cardi B. When he said that he had the same conversation with Lil' Kim and Foxy, like what the hell changed his mind? Why did he neglect Lil' Kim and Foxy's feelings from the jump? 
I mean, I do understand maybe because he was younger, his mindset was different. But when Cardi brought it to his attention again, maybe he realized between what he did with them and what he did with Cardi, I mean, the PDP, you know, that he needed to make some life changes. But that just goes to show you that people can change if they want to. And we all need to take a lesson in this and learn how to apologize and ask for forgiveness for those that we've done wrong. But he still needs to apologize to Nicki Minaj for real she deserves an apology seriously fam what do you think about this do you think that it shows growth on noriega's part or do you think he's just showing favor to cardi b because Nicki minaj won't go on his show or do you think it's something else y'all let me know in the comments below because honey we need to get this conversation started all right trendsetters let me know how you feel what you think share your thoughts below babes trendsetters i've enjoyed spilling the tea with you remember to support one another and show love y'all support your girl it's free it's trendsetter tea babes this is a new channel so hit the like button hit the like button hit the like button and subscribe i need someone to send me a hook for real all right y'all come back for some more trending hot tea and let please subscribe hit, subscribe your girl wants to get a thousand subscribers so we can go live and bring you the tea trendsetters love you fam bye